Okay, hello. Welcome to another episode of the WWE T TEW series. My name is the Midwest Machete. And today, uh, I booked this episode, Monday Night Raw, off screen. As you see, I, I took it down to 120 minutes here because th three hour Raws are 180 minutes. And to me, that's just too much for my fucking blood. So I took it down to two hours. Uh, I believe SmackDown should also be two hours as well, and then the other B shows will al are also uh, an hour, I would say. So I think that. So, anyways, enough talking. Let's run the show that I've had for since yesterday, I believe. There we go. Okay, so the first angle. Uh, it's fully announced as three qualifiers. Three qualifier matches for the Fatal 4 MMA match for the Universal title. I forgot to take them off screen. Fuck me. Uh, but anyways, so Mick Foley comes out and he's like, "Today, Tonight we're going to have three qualifier matches for the Fatal 4-Way match for the Universal title at SummerSlam. And he announces that it's going to be... And tonight it's going to be Roman Reigns versus Chris Jericho, Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor, and then Kevin Owens versus Cesaro. Okay, there's no specific comics. All right, so that's that's good. So it's only one second there. In a terrible match, Neville defeats Bo Dallas in five minutes and one second by pinfall with a red arrow. Okay, uh, well, that could have been better, but Neville's not suited to his gimmick. Uh, I would have figured. Okay, announcing quality lifted the match in color. I thought this match would have been a little bit better because it's Neville and Bo Dallas, but it's whatever. I probably should have had that first. I see his thing with this. I was gonna have this be the pre-show match, but I didn't think it was gonna do that bad for pre-show, so I left it up way over. Okay, Neville's heading back down the aisle after his match. As he reaches the stage, he gets attacked by Tyson Kidd, who came out of nowhere. Kidd proceeds to powerbomb Neville right into the stage itself, which cracks and sends Neville through the hole. As Tyson Kidd looks on smiling, Neville is stretched out with a neck brace on. As you see, I made it a storyline. I also forgot to. Oh, I don't know why the fuck Natalia is here. I think she's on SmackDown. Whoops, I'm gonna have to change that later. Uh, as you see, this is supposed to be a heel turn. Are you sure you wish to? No. Complete the turn. The turn with a complete success. Awesome. Uh, this segment kind of did bad, but I mean, it happens. <laughs> wow. In an abysmal match, Charlotte defeated. Summer Rae and Alicia Fox in 10 minutes and 4 seconds when Charlotte defeated Alicia Fox by pinfall after Dana Brooke interfered. Charlotte carried the match in terms of ring ring performance, okay? Summer did the worst out of really any. Alicia Fox did pretty good, I guess. Charlotte did the best. Uh, I don't know if I should have ever even have Summer Rae wrestle, really. I think I should ever be a manager, but it's whatever. In a in a in a bout that had decent wrestling but little a little heat, Gallows and Anderson defeated Golden Truth in ten minutes and twenty nine seconds when Luke Gallus defeated R Truth by pinball with a Gallus pole. Overall this was actually a pretty decent match. That's fifty four is not bad. Compared to a lot of the other matches that I had, so it's not bad. So then after their match, Carl Anderson and Gallows sent out a message in a new day saying that they think they're the best tag team on Monday Night Raw, and so they want to face them for the tag team titles at SummerSlam. Uh, Biggie and Kobe Kingston does not come out, as it's just only Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. That did pretty good at 58. It's not. It's okay. Could be better. Could be worse. Oh, fuck. I just realized I double booked Summer, didn't I? Son of a bitch. I, do I double booked her, didn't I? No, we're gonna. I changed Sasha's gimmick because her gimmick was terrible. I totally just double booked Summer Rae, didn't I? I fucking did. Son of a bitch. Oh, okay, I did not realize that till now. Uh, we're just gonna skip that. Okay. <laughs> uh, in a decent match, Kevin Owens drew with Cesaro at 12 minutes when the time limit expired. And now that was a qualifiers match. Quick reminder. That was a qualifier match. But that match is pretty good. Okay. Well, I gotta realize who the fuck. I didn't even notice till later. In a decent match, even though that did 
you kind of see Seth Rollins defeats Finn Balor in 15-4-0-4 by pinfall with a pedigree following interference from Rusev. Uh, as you may know, I have Finn Balor feuding with Rusev for the United States title. Uh, Rollins did the best. Finn's okay. Could improve. In a good match, Roman Reigns defeated Chris Jericho in 17 0 0 in 2 seconds when Chris Jericho initi intentionally, initially, intentionally got counted out. Okay, they retire at the end, but they have great chemistry, so that's good. Um, that's, pretty, that, that, that's pretty good. They have good chemistry, but they can't really go for long matches. So that, you know, so this happens afterwards, you know. Uh, Roman Reigns is really confused as why Jericho left the ring and just got counted out. And then after, you know, after it was all over, the bell rang, and then Kevin Owens from behind attacked Roman, hit him with a pop-up powerbomb, and to end the show, Owens stands tall. And that got a 62. Oh, fuck me, okay. Um... The general feeling is that WWE don't have enough interesting storylines going on. The show increased our popularity in three religions, but it lost its popularity in 18. Fuck me. Okay. Well, that's not... I, I mean, it could have been better. You know, I, I mean, I'll admit, I didn't even see the ranking of the show, actually. I didn't see the grade. I just read the notes. Um, but we're going to see what that is. Okay, well, that's not that's not bad. I'll admit, it, it could have been worse. I think we have Superstars next. After this, I don't know if it's. I don't know if I ever changed the days. Here's the thing with superstars and okay, well, let's get see what this says. We fall on the national size. Okay, that's that's normal because this was that international opinion. Neville is charismatic. I can see the kid doing well in the future. Yeah, five thousand dollars. We got an eight point eighteen point thirty seven. That's not bad. Oh fuck, we got goals, huh? All right, let's see what our goals are. Wait, what? When time when the time expires, WWE must have experienced gain experience must have gained popularity in America. Okay, Rusev must have reached must have reached at least seventy seven overall popularity in America when the time expires. Devon Dudley must have reached at least fifty nine overall popularity in America. You can't any, hire any wrestler if he was classed as a Japanese junior. And you can't hire any wrestler over the age of 45. What the fuck are these goals? I've made events tonight. Okay, well here's the thing. I'm going to change. No, not. No, that's not it. Broadcasting is what I want to change. Uh, was it said it was main event, right? Yeah, let's change that to Fridays. Just get that out of the way. And then Superstars is also on Friday. We're going to turn that to Saturday. Because why not? I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to do like SmackDown and then another fucking show. I'll be real honest. I don't. I don't feel like ever doing that. So, but we did. We gained a lot of money though. So that's good. Okay, so we have SmackDown Live. Um, I'm gonna do the card off screen and then show what's gonna happen next week. But for now, we're just gonna. Look here. So Tyson Kidd, obviously, we're gonna look at the storylines here. Um, 64. For that 36. For that 52 for that. Okay, these. Oh, I never did anything with these two. Fuck. Okay, forgot about that feud. <sighs> Fuck me. Okay, well, um, this is a SmackDown feud. I only have like one SmackDown feud right now, which I probably will make more off screen for, you, for to show you guys but for now um well first things first let's sign no one because I forgot about that he's pleased about a successful turn he's a heel he's a, he's a manager he's gonna 
manage somebody. Because I think he's hurt right now, but I think we can still have him being a manager. Um, so, yeah. So, that's raw. That's pretty much it for now. Um, next time, I'm probably going to book SmackDown off screen and show you what happens for that. And I think that's about it. So, yeah. Uh, my name is Midwest Machete, and I'll see you guys next time.